Microsoft Power Platform is used by thousands of organizations around the world, very successfully for different use cases. But one challenge exists. If people have problems operating the platform, whether things are slow or failing, it's sometimes very hard to troubleshoot. What I heard from Robert, who I've invited today to show me the new solution, is typically people then go on a support call where they then talk with the end user, letting them show how they experience bad performance or failures, which in the end often solves the problem, but it's a very tedious process and it's a lengthy process. Robert, I have you back because last time when you were here, we talked about backend performance observability of Microsoft Power Platform. Now you also brought real user monitoring from Dynatrace to the Microsoft Power Platform to exactly optimize those troubleshooting use cases. Please uh, tell me more about what you built and especially show it to me. Yeah, sure. Actually, I'm very happy to finally announce that we can close the circle and also cover the client side. So as you already mentioned, uh, it's pretty tough to investigate those kind of issues. And that's why I would like to show you that today. So let's take a closer look at our uh, demo environment. And also we will see, okay, how it works behind this in the Dynatrace. Uh, but before we start, a very quick introduction. We can see it here on App Source. Uh, it's an out-of-the-box solution here. So you can just install it to an environment. Uh, and within a few minutes, you have real user monitoring without additional configurations, just a connection to Dynatrace, that's it. And this is how it looks like. So let me show you that in my environment here. And this is basically a vanilla environment. So as you can see, I'm using the customer service hub. Yeah. So if I use the service hub, if I use the sales hub or any other kind of application within Power Platform, it doesn't matter because everything is covered. Yeah. So in this case okay it's a very simple thing yeah and let me try to reload that and i think this is a very common case yeah? when the people start to complain when i open a case when i open opportunity i have to wait a few seconds because it's very slow in this case it's fast but um, there are a lot of chances where you have issues with that for example if you have custom code yeah and if the custom code has an error you will see a scripting error we'll see that later as well and then you have to try to investigate that and at the end as you already said you have to talk to the users and you have to share the screen and so on to find the root cause of that so let me show you something what you can do and finally we have a solution for that what you see here is basically aggregated data so you can monitor the environment and you identify bottlenecks before the user start to complain but in some cases, when you already have an open support case, you can analyze the sessions directly. And this is a very cool feature here. So let me show you that. In this case, we have a couple of sessions from earlier this morning. So let's take a look at this one, for example. And when I start to play this, it will show me exactly what happened. So when we take a look at dynamics, um, of course, you can load the pages and then the people will start to complain. So let's pause here for a second. And this is exactly what happened if you have an error. So if you have some kind of scripting errors and they usually, usually don't tell you this. So then you have to try to reproduce the error and so on. And this is quite annoying. Yeah. And of course, I can watch the full session. Yeah. So you will see exactly, okay, what are the loading times? What are the issues? And if I need to investigate in more detail, I don't have to reach out to the user and that's so brilliant. I know I already said that, but it's so amazing because you see all of the different HTTP calls, you see the errors, you see failing requests and so on. So you know exactly yeah. what is the error without talking to the user. It's, it's amazing. amazing. And Robert, especially you earlier, when you reloaded the page, it kind of loaded fast. So an error that you had earlier was not reproducible. But now in session replay, we saw everything that you faced earlier. I think about probably half an hour ago, there was a JavaScript error, things were failing. And if you put yourself into the shoes of a support engineer, they're calling the user, doing a remote session, and all of a sudden the problem doesn't happen anymore. With this, you have all the evidence from everything that happened before without needing to reproduce it because all the data is there. And then also visually very appealing with Dynatrace session replay, we are giving you the real visual replay of how the user experienced the problem or the slowdown. And I agree with you, it's just phenomenal. And everything just 
turn on and install your uh, app source solution and then you inject the diameter as RAM agent and you can enable session replay. It's awesome. Yeah, and this is just one of the features. Uh, as you already said, you have all of the capabilities of Dynamo Vision, so you can, of course, uh, also monitor the environment on a higher level. So let me show you that quickly so we can see, okay, what's going on. And by the way, as I said, uh, you have different applications. In this case, it's my dynamics environment, but of course, you can also uh, monitor your external web applications based on Power Platform. So all of those things are also supported. And as you can see, I have all details here. I know exactly what's going on. And if I have any issues, okay, I can basically pinpoint those things without any dependency to the user. So I don't have to reach out to them. I don't have to talk to the developers. I see exactly what's going on. And I think this is also, folks, I know this is um, Dynatrace Real User Monitoring has a lot of capabilities. We saw session replay earlier. This is now, uh, as Robert, as you said, more like an aggregated view across all your users, and then you can do hotspot analytics. What are my slowest pages? What are my most failing pages? What is the root cause of most of my failures? Is there any bad JavaScript? Are there any resources that couldn't be downloaded? Folks, if you want to learn more about this, we have already a couple of videos. All the links are in the description. But really great, Robert, that you brought this capability now to the Microsoft Power Platform in a very uh, simple way. And uh, yeah, what else do people need to know to get started? Yeah, actually, as I said in the beginning, let me switch back to AppSource. And AppSource is the official store where you can download extensions. And this is actually so cool because you just install it. You just go to the AppSource, search for user monitoring and you will see it and they just press the install button and then you can automatically deploy it to your environment and then you just en enable the configuration to Dynatrace and that's it yeah so very easy straightforward that's awesome thing. cool thank you so much the link to also this app source uh, solution can be found in the description of the video uh, but uh, today I want to say thanks again, Robert, uh, for the session we did weeks ago on the, the monitoring of the backend, um, where we used open telemetry and Dynatrace and now on the front end with Dynatrace Reuser Monitoring. I'm pretty sure I have you back because it's amazing what you guys are building over there. Thank you.